Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, and Merry Christmas Eve to everyone out there. Now, with it being Christmas Eve, I thought I would take a page out of some other people's traditions because, see, at my house when I was growing up, I always got jealous of some of my friends because their parents always let them open one present on Christmas Eve. See, I never got that. We were always like, I'm one of six kids. You know, so it was a big family. There would have been a lot of presents to be opened on one night. And we're like, Mom, Dad, can we open a present on Christmas Eve? And they're like, no, you got to wait. Got to wait till Christmas morning. So we never got to do that. But now, since I'm an adult, I can open a package on Christmas Eve and then have a cocktail and then do whatever else I want because I'm an adult. So this is fun. We're going to do that. And I have a package here from my good friends at Kaiser to take a look at. And I thought we would rip into this and take a look at all of the new Kaisers that are going to be coming out at the end of December. So we're going to rip into this here with the Kaiser Lieb or actually cut into this with the Kaiser Lieb. Uh, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. It's, uh, it's one of the best ideas I've ever had. Um, so I'm actually cutting into this to open it with the tape, but then right up here, I'm going to leave this closed so I can do an unboxing with it for my short. So, and it's nice because the short, I don't do a whole lot of talking. I just, you know, like to show people the unboxing experience in a, you know, in a shorter time frame. So it's nice to do that and look like, I mean, it's still like technically legit. I, I don't look at that as lying, but I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. And, uh. I don't always have good ideas, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do that, actually. No, I'm not gonna do that, because that's taped really, really well. So, <laughs> that idea goes out the window, and I guess I'll just make a short a different way. See, you see what I get for trying to be slick? That's, that's what I get. Anyway, let's get into this. Take a look in this box. We got four, we got four knives, I think? I think we got four knives, let's see here, yeah. One, two, three, yes, four knives, four Kaisers. All right, I'm already happy. Let's see here. Let's cut into it like this. Okay, now let's see what we got here. All right, we have, yeah, so it looks like one premium and then three budget versions, or th probably three versions under $100, and I'm assuming this one is going to be, oh, 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 yeah. We're gonna save that for last. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, let's make no rhyme or reason. Let's just put these two off to the side and let's get right into it. And first up here, we have, oh, okay, we'll just look at it. I, let's see, this is a very new model. This is the Kaiser, come on, Kaiser Task, designed by Nick Consoli. Yeah, Nick Consoli, hmm, very interesting. Let's see what we got here. Uh, of course, your stickers and your pouches and all that stuff. Get to the knife. Ooh. Okay. I think I, yeah, I've seen pictures of this on Instagram. Ah, uh, let's see here. As always, the micarta check, first of all. Always so good. Man, Kaiser kills the micarta game for budget knives. It's a crossbar lock. Looks like the clutch lock is back. And uh, let's give it a flip. Ooh, I like that blade. And yeah, that... That feels pretty darn good. Let's get all this stuff off the side here. Try and stay organized. I'm really not the best at staying organized. And take a look at it. Yeah, the Kaiser, what? <laughs> I already forgot the name of it. The Task, the Kaiser Task. Very nice looking knife. Like that, uh, that kind of modified Warncliffe or reverse Tonto, whatever you want to call it. A uh, little bit of belly there. Hmm, yeah. That's really good. I like how that feels. And I, oh yeah, like that clutch lock. Clutch lock is always good. Blade centering, are we good? Surprise, surprise, it's just about, eh. It is slightly favoring the show side, but that could also just be because the pivot needs tightened. Kaiser actually does a really good thing and they don't put a ridiculous amount of glue in all their screws. So sometimes when you first get one, it may come a little loose on you, but I like that because then I can put my own type of Loctite on there and my own everything and not have to worry about cleaning up a bunch of junk. So yeah, really like that. And uh, the first impression of the Kaiser task is pretty darn good. Uh, yeah. Boy, oh boy. Kind of wish that was a stonewashed clip. But other than that, I get it. Those satin clip kind of goes together. Uh, yeah. Boy, just when you think you're not going to see another new design, you see another one that is just fresh, clean. Very nice. Kaiser Task. Um, what I'm going to do is put these all off to the side and 
the day these knives drop, I'll be able to give you guys some more in-depth thoughts and kind of what I think about all of them. So you'll have my thoughts before you go to buy the knife. So if something weird or unexpected happens, you'll know about it before you can buy it. So I like that. I like that idea. So yeah, there we go. Uh, what do we have here? This is another brand new one. The Gavel by Mark Perez. It's like a smaller blade. Let's see what this is about. Oh, okay, I've seen a picture of this one too. It's all coming back to me. All right, let's see here. Get off the silica packet. Ooh, I like that clip. I really, some people may not like this clip on this exact design. Ooh, that flipper tab. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we'll, we'll see. That's, okay, Let, let's flip it right now because this flipper tab has me very nervous that, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to work well, but let's see. Holy shnikes. Okay, uh, that worked really well. Uh, I don't even feel like I touched the flipper tab. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. This is cool. This is very clean, very simple. Nice ergos for a small knife. This is different, very, very different. Nice liner lock, nice full lockup. Brass and micarta, brass and burlap especially, very nice. This though, ooh, really smooth, but this is just different. Holy crap, that is the most minimal flipper tab. I have, oh my gosh, that is, that's kind of ridiculous. That's too damn good. That is too easy to flip. It's minimal as small as that flipper is. There's a couple jimping notches there, but literally like only two. Yeah, there's, well, there's three, but you're really only feeling two. I, that's, yeah. Okay, I've got to, uh, yeah, I've got to carry this more and really put some sense into this. This is, this is cool. This is very, very cool. All right, next up here we have the Crypt. Cryptoid? The Cryptid. Cryptid by Christian Nyat. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. I'm sure I've probably seen a picture of this too, but the name is just not ringing a bell. Oh, let's see here. Okay, button lock. What's this blade look like? Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Check that button lock action. Pretty good button lock action. Yeah. No complaints. Hmm. The, the blade profile or the blade shape is just kind of, it's taking a little longer to set in here. Very different. Is that a hollow grind? No, it's a flat grind. Okay. Micarta check. Really, really good again. Nice pressed micarta. It's got, uh, got some nice chamfering on the sides there. Your typical deep carry clip. Hmm. Okay. It's another new Kaiser. Very different design. All right. We will have, of course, ex kind of kind of like long term reviews of all these. Not like super long term reviews, but uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, long term's not the word, but uh, carried reviews, real world experience. That's that's what we're looking for now. This we're not going to show you. We're going to go through the uh, unboxing enjoyment because I know what it is, and I've been so excited to see this version. Ooh, you, you just saw it recently on my Knife of the Year Awards, and for very good reason, it is one awesome stinking knife. And uh, what I'm talking about is a design from my buddy Jacob Lundquist. This is the Veritas with black. Oh, it's all blacked out. Not completely blacked out, but it's mostly blacked out with a little bit of a flame titanium there. Look at this. Woo. Oh, that's nice. That, that's nice. So nice. Perfect blade centering. Let's get this stuff out of the way before we give it that first flip, shall we? Oh, I already know what this is going to be. It better be what I hope it's going to be. It is. Ooh, it's good. It's so good. Yeah, this Veritas. This is, this is definitely Jacob's best design so far. Man, this is, oh, so damn good. Love those little accents of the flame titanium, too. Let's see. we got a cloth here somewhere. There's one. Eeh, reach for it. 
Okay, let's see here. Wipe off a little bit of protectant they got on that blade. And I'm assuming this is, yes, S35 VN Steel. Oh, man. Don't know which one I like better. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer this blacked out version with the with the flamed anno, which is very nice. Very, very cool. Excellent. This is like the perfect little pop. Oh, and the backspacer too? Hell yes. That is so nice. Perfect little pop to a blacked out Veritas that is so darn good. Yeah, the Veritas is a winner whether it's blacked out or raw. And that's it, guys. Again, like I said, I'm going to have four reviews of all of these guys all together, though. I think I'll try this, try and just review them all together the day they drop. Um, it, it wouldn't make sense to make more than two videos, but definitely want to get you guys as informed as I can. Very different offerings from Kaiser. I mean, new versions, but three new models that, yeah, that, that really has my attention. So does that. Definitely give that some pocket time, too. Very nice stuff coming out of Kaiser. Most importantly, though, guys, on this Christmas Eve, I just want to thank you for supporting my channel and giving me the comments and likes and, and giving me a little time from your day because I know uh, time is limited for everybody. And for me to get any of your time uh, is so much appreciated. Just want to thank you all. Hope you have a great rest of your holiday season. And you're definitely going to see me before the holidays are over. You might even see me tomorrow with a beverage in my hand. Who knows? Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.